Well, we're at MCM London Comic Con 2017 in the autumn. Um, the show has just been bought by Reed Pop, so that's a bit of the air. And they, I've got to say, it's looking a bit different from the off in a quite a positive way. So let's do from one side of uh, MCM London Comic Con 2017 in the, in the autumn to the other because there are some differences. So we start off, here we are. And you can see that this is the 32nd MCM London Comic Con and now one owned by or acquired by is that correct? Reed Pop. And from the start we've got something very new and very different. Comics Village is at the front with Grant Perkins, and Gary Erskine and Lee Brady. And um, that's new. Often Comics Village has been kind of like a side, like kind of over beyond there somewhere. And here it's started straight off. So it's a different look. You walk in and you have comics. Now this is the Friday. This is why I'm doing this today because most people are still in a large line outside. Thankfully press has its benefits. But you can have a look at uh, Comics Village at the front. And um, Diamond. Diamond Distributors has a proper style booth. This is the kind of thing you might normally see in the UK at the uh, book fair, it's like a trade only. But um, this, this year's MCM, they've set up here as well. There's a little wonder, a little wonder at least, um, Comics Village before we walk any further. Because, like I said, for, for the first time, since I can remember, Comics Village is central. There's tea, the boys at Teapot and Togo. And this is kind of new. It's not something we uh, would normally expect. So it means that you know people may be coming here for all sorts of reasons, the film, the TV, the games. Do you know what? This is a Comic Con and they have to walk through Comics Village. And then we have the Comics Village own store, which they've been putting together and creating some of the uh, people who are set up right now. So we can wander around, as usual. Have a little... Oh, I'm always going to have a little bit of a... You know, it's around Comics Village first. Ah, uh, Lloyd with that. It's a lovely comic. I said, usually, Comics Village... Well, wonderful. That's always just being kind of like, somewhere towards the back. Somewhere towards the back. And, um, this year, it's face front of the uh, North Hall, and it looks good, it looks great. It's one of these wonderful things that, you know, just attract the curious. And I've been talking to some of the booth people before I started this, and they've been telling me already, footfall is way up. Lots of people flew by, checking out the comics. And so this is, this is a Friday morning. It's usually, generally, a little bit slow at this time because people are still kind of getting into the show. And also, it's the Saturday where people really come in there. Bulk. Friday's still a work day. Us. For many. Although it is half term. School, that's really helpful. And yeah, 2000D. Nice big booth there. And Sweatshop Studios. Again, these are people you often usually see at the show, but never quite this prominent. And that makes a bit change. I'm going to keep wandering around. Yeah. I'm going to go past Travelling Man. Got their big food house again. Often here, never quite so prominent. Uh, Moam are giving out uh, their sweets. I'm, uh, I've had far too many. Savvy people, I think. The Marvel stuff out. There's a big Marvel presence here. I mean, you can understand that, especially considering also the term. We always have the stronger Marvel presence. And a lot of the other manufacturers 
publishers were like, the games makers like, they've all jumped in. So Marble Hot Wheels, there's a lot of marble. Costumes or replicas for the posing off. Everyone's diving in Disneyland. Should we got there? Superhero stuff, the Marvel jacked aspects. Cool. As you can see, yes, anyone who's anywhere close to Marvel is putting up Marvel stuff. Oh, I'm guessing, you know, there's a read news out there. You might expect a big DC presence. Join them for the next show in the spring. Or any of the other uh, MCMs that you'll find around the country and indeed Europe. Always nice to have the pink carpet. Yeah, Hope you enjoy the nice jiggly. I've got some heavy bags today which is making it even more jiggly than the usual. What joy. As I said, this is still a relatively empty MCM. This is his first thing on a Friday. But which is why I'm doing this now. If I did this a couple of hours before, if I did this tomorrow, it would be impossible. Cash Exchange, have been seeing them expanding and growing the place. Interesting uh, place to promote themselves. My Geek Box and Zed Box, they've got all their Geek Boxes all lined up. I'll be showing them through the show, I'm sure. This is Zappy Pope. Okay, we're now going to try, I think, there's the big halls, we've got the panels going on over here. We're going to try and cross over, see if we can get in. There's an entry there, which is great. All the food halls and the like. Now we're going to go over to the south side for a little walk around. This is an entry. Cosplay as well, of course. Okay, here we go. Yes, this is what I was trying to get into before, I think. The south side, where you've got Nintendo Booth launching new games this week, I believe. And you get to play all sorts of Again, if you can make it for today, for the Friday, <laughs> the lines will be a lot shorter than they will be later today on the Saturday. And there we have the Speed and the mystery boxes. Very nice. Always nice to see a big sword. Wherever you're at. Just for yourself. Big sword's always good. We have the Mario bus. I can see people fighting with lightsabers. So we're clearly 
Oh yeah, so if you want to play uh, Mario, come by. Possibly bring your own Switch. It's new Super Mario Odyssey. I've heard good things, very good things, from people who've been embargoed, so. I presume that must be up by now. Or very soon. So this side is very much kind of like more games and merch. Well, the other side is more um, comics and film. But this is from one side of the show to the other. So you aren't going to get the full gamut. And I think I'll have to be bringing my children <laughs> one of the next few days, and they are going to put in the someday. And then we'll have lots of fun debating how many llamas they can or may not have. That's kind of cool. I've got to say, that's pretty good. Alright. There's a nice big minion there. Always good to see a minion. Oh, and here things get a bit more Warner Brothersy, because it's all a bit Justice League-like suddenly. Big posters. Let's have a quick pop in. Yeah, it's all very Justice League-ish. The games, Batmobiles. Film books. Yeah. And something. A little bit of Cartoon Network and Stephen to welcome. Darby Wrestlers. WWE. And Universal's got its own booth for watching trailers and films. Yeah.